Pro Taper Grips going on my Teleria. And then some upgraded foot pegs. Pretty decent profile. Hurt to get your shin caught on that, but need those for the wheelies. I uh, found some LED headlights, and these ones look pretty skookum. But we'll see, I'm unsure if the mounting geometry is similar to what we have already, or if I have to build some brackets, but either way we'll get them mounted. Alright, so we're going to install these grips. First step is remove your bar end plug. We won't be reinstalling these. as. These grips have closed ends. There's one. Not too bad condition, getting a little bit worn out. Stock VS Pro Taper. Same deal, a little bit of hairspray to glue it in. Feels nice. All right. Let's see here. First your sear clip, then your washer. Found the best way to stick a screwdriver. Pop it out. Get your pin. And slowly pull this out with your thumb on top. It should hold that spring. Start the pin partially, get your spring situated, so I'm putting the springs in this little hole, it doesn't put as much tension on it, but they don't seem to want to sit anywhere else but there. stock peg mount and then it holds it correctly. So then once again wash your circuit. Installed. All right. Last but not least, we have the upgraded headlight. It's got LEDs on the side, widespread spot, and side as well. So, with any luck, it'll match up to the mounting width. If not, we might be doing some work. Well, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Second one. And there's our headlight out oh, now. Because this is an aftermarket, what we're gonna have to do is wire this plug onto this aftermarket headlight off of the stock headlight. So if you go to the connector, push right here, that pops out, boom. And there, so now what we gotta do is keep this connector, cut it off of the stock headlight. And then we will solder that connector onto this headlight, and that should mount right there. Pretty nice to that look. Like that. Snip that piece off. Now what I like to do is stagger them, so I'm going to leave the red one shorter on this side. And 
using some 18 to 22 gauge heat shrink connectors. And now you see they staggered it so that they're not right beside each other, makes it wrap a little tighter. Hello, bird. The crimp is key on these things. You don't want to crimp it too much because you'll pierce the outer shell that keeps it safe. I'm trying to do this, you can see just to where it crimps the plastic. Like that. I'll kind of wrap that up and tape it up. The red's a little bit long as you can see here. It'd be ideal to have those both perfect, but that's all right. And again, everything's sealed, so it's more specifically just to kind of keep it in place and keep it looking nice. Yeah. So this guy will plug back in to the plug. Fish the wiring down behind that plate. That'll bolt on just right there. Boom. Pegs, headlight, grips, done.